Ladies and gentlemen, what we have right here is a brand new home that has just been completed. And you can tell just right here how unique this amazing home is. We're gonna check out the exterior, the interior, everything. But first, y'all know the deal. Let's roll that intro. So it's time to get into the good stuff. We're gonna, I'm gonna just show you a couple things on the exterior and then we're gonna head on into this one. They are just finishing up this home. There's actually a couple of things that are being finished up today. Uh, the, the new homeowners, it is move-in day. So this is an exciting time. So this tour is perfect for those of you that are looking to build something in the next maybe right now or the next year or so, give you some really good ideas on everything. So we're in Oxford, Mississippi. This home is sitting on about three acres. If y'all follow the channel really closely, you know the house right here beside it. We just did that one. Okay, so I'll finish things up back there by that garage. For now, I want to focus right here on the front. We also have a really cool back porch. I'll show you that as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, this uh, right here next year. So we've got our brick coming up. And then this is, it's like a cement based siding that you're going to see here on the exterior. And it's painted. Uh, the builder was just telling me like this stuff. You won't have to paint as often as just like your regular wood board and batten and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Didn't even know that. Just learn that. Wow. So I know we got plenty of close-up shots. So let's go ahead and step up on the porch. I love how we have the concrete walkway here. Their drive is totally concrete. That's been really nice. It's been raining a lot out here. I love that there with the recessed lighting. This porch is very big. I'm hoping maybe the video can do it some justice on just how big this porch is. I, I'll try to do my de I'll try to do my best to have some details and stuff as we tour this home. You have these front wood doors, eight foot double doors. Wow, it's just beautiful. All right, so since they're finishing up a few things in here and then uh, there's just a lot, lot going on and so this is the only opportunity I could get this home, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tour it and then I'll voice over a lot of my comments as we go through it. I've shot some videos in the past and if you have anything in the background, it really messes with the, with the video and I know y'all don't wanna hear all that, so I think this is gonna be our best approach. With all that being said, it's showtime, let's go. So as soon as you walk in, the first thing you notice is this really nice for your area and you slide these doors and head into this office. This is really, really sweet. Now, after, let me say this, after editing the video, I think I'm gonna let a lot of the tour just be the music playing so you can look at everything. But if I see anything that I really, really want to point out, I will do that. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I can't go without talking. Look, check out these eight foot doors. I just noticed that right there. Everything, interior doors, exterior, everything in this home is eight foot. You come into your living room, got the really nice vaulted ceilings with the brick fireplace. Uh, got a brick fireplace outside. We're going to check that out too. Engineered hardwood flooring that you're going to see. Mm, well, we've got carpet in some bedrooms and stuff, but uh, in a lot of this home, you're going to see that hardwood Wow, Chance, you're so good with the slow pans.
Now, what about that view right there? You're going to see these cabinets, uh, a very unique color. I think they look great. I mean, it's something different for sure, but I think they turned out wonderful. And I love the look with having these, uh, these different cabinets here as your island. It just ties together all very well. Beautiful quartz countertops. I will say those quartz countertops are in a lot of the site-built homes that I've toured. They're very popular. I wish I knew the name of them, uh, but yeah, I see that same countertop. I mean, there could be a little bit of difference, but it's kind of that same white countertop with a little bit of gray vein in it. Now, I was really blown away by this right here. This is cool. I mean, that's super sweet. Y'all be sure to drop a comment during the tour let me know uh what you think about the home and if you uh, see some things maybe i don't point out i would love to hear y'all's input Oh, wait a minute. What do, what do we what do we have right here? It's a pocket door going into... Oh. <laughs> hey! <laughs> okay, so, I mean, let's be honest. There were people in this house when I was touring it, and I had to slide. Like, it was tough getting that pantry dance, y'all, because not only did I not want to make a scene, I didn't want nobody to see it, you know what I'm saying? Because... It's never been seen before, but so it was tough, but I made it happen for y'all. And don't worry, I, the gimbal was holding it real stable. I mean, I was getting down. <laughs> uh, really great looking pantry. Notice you got some countertops in there as well. I'm gonna step out here real quick and show y'all the back porch uh, really briefly and we'll head back in. What about this back porch? This, y'all, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know I'm a huge fan of back porches. Like, I love to grill and all that and then just have this huge backyard right here. I'm telling you, this is what I call living. Living at its finest. Got the same thing back here that we had on the front porch. We've got another gas uh, fireplace right here. Now, me personally, I like the gas out here too. You know, a lot of people go wood burning and stuff. But me, gas is just so easy. And if you want to do wood burning, get you a little fire pit or something like that. But gas, you come out here, turn this on, and just get at it. So, but we also have these steps right here. Uh, well, we got steps going down right here, but then we also have these steps over here. And I'll show you a little more of that, where that goes into um, from the inside. But nice little, another concrete pad right here for uh, maybe, you know, I don't know. What would y'all like to set over in this area? I'm not real sure. Okay, let's head back in. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is head down here and check out these guest bedrooms and the, there's a bathroom down here as well. Several different rooms right here. You're not going to see any wire racks in this home at all, which is great. I liked how in that bedroom they had the double doors. 
check out this beautiful uh, second bath or guest bath double sinks same quartz in here as well full just a cut cut glass uh, mirror there looks great but it goes all the way across I mean that's a big mirror Glad you wanted to point that out there, Chance. The pocket door that goes into where your shub is. Cullen, if you're watching, I just want you to know it is a shub. Shower tub combo. If you don't know what I'm talking about, y'all need to watch my last video. Cullen trying to tell me how a shub ain't a, how a tub ain't a shub. As you can see, we got two more bedrooms back here, so that makes three bedrooms down here on this end. Makes this home a four bedroom, uh, two and a half bath. Okay, so now we're on the other end of the house right here, and this is our half bath that uh, I just mentioned right here. Uh, it's close to the garage door and kind of close to the kitchen. I like where it's positioned for sure. Okay, so that door right there goes into the garage. We're gonna wrap things up right there, but I wanted to show you this. We have some lockers. And then this door right here goes to uh, the back porch area that you know we looked at when we was out there. Now right here, close to your main bedroom is your utility room. I gotta say, I kind of like that thinking about it um, because it's if your if your laundry room is a long ways away from say your main bedroom closet and all that, you know where you typically get ready or or whatever. It's like it's kind of a drag to have to take all your clothes from one end of the house to the other. So to see that pretty close, I like that a lot. Spot for your washer and your dryer. We got some countertops in here as well. Plus we have that really nice sink where you can clean them dirty blue jeans. Now, let me talk to you about this main bedroom. One of the things that we've got to point out is the vaulted ceilings. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, same thing that we've seen in the living room there. Don't ask me how you're gonna clean those ceilings, but they sure look good. Okay, here we go. First thing you gotta notice about this bathroom is those cabinets are the same as the ones in the kitchen, same color and everything. I mean, the cabinets throughout the house are the same, just shaker style cabinets, but these are the same color as you could tell. But you continue on with that quartz uh, that we've seen throughout the rest of the house. Your pools, and your faucets and everything match really well. It 
and we step into this closet now i've toured several of the homes miss sarah has built and all of them have these really nice built-ins in the closet uh, i love to see that you have a lot of area to hang uh, clothes or you know put some shelves which i know that shelf right there is missing but other than that um you could put shoes on whatever the case may be now look at this And we've got to finish up this bathroom tour with this towel shower. I got a question for y'all. Y'all drop me a comment. What if I did a video of like, say, my top five favorite bathrooms that I've toured or my top five favorite kitchens or something like that? What do you, would y'all, would y'all be interested in that? I don't want to make the video if y'all really don't care to see that. If y'all want to see more of the whole home, y'all give me some feedback. But I love this tile that you see in the shower. It's got that gloss look. I believe it's the same on the floor, except the floor is like a mat and the shower is like a gloss there. Went a little different with your uh, the floor there in the shower. Looks great. Now, all we got to do is head to that garage and we're going to wrap this video up. So yeah, I thought we'd come up here and wrap the video up. Uh, right here, we've got us uh, definitely two car garage right here. Say so it's probably about 18 foot. That's usually a lot of times the standard size. I love when you see that you have a door as well. That way, if you wanna keep your door shut, you have access and wow, that's cool to see. I hadn't seen that in a home yet. So they sheetrocked everything in here. Uh, you got your brick coming up, same brick that you've seen on the rest of the house. A lot of room in here. Plus, you got another spot, another way to get access to your attic right there. That's nice. Hey, thank you all so much for watching. I know this tour has been a little bit different than normal, but for me, it's all about showing you all amazing homes, and we got to do that nonetheless, even though the new homeowners are moving. And thank you, big thank you to Miss Sarah for letting me tour another one of her properties that she has built. Phenomenal house, phenomenal location. Uh, hopefully it helped, gave you all some great ideas. Don't forget to subscribe to the notification bell if you enjoy this type of content. Do me a favor and share this video maybe with somebody that you think would like to see it. And lastly, all I ask is if you'll drop us a like. That's really important. It helps the video out a lot. Thank you. So a couple more things I'd like to share and I'll be done. I'd like to say in the description, you can find more information on this house. I have square footage and all that kind of stuff. And if you have any more questions, maybe not in there, just drop a comment below. Also, as you know, when I do the site builds and stuff, it's hard to give you any type of pricing because I really don't know. All I can really tell you is what homes like this are being built for in that area, which in Oxford, Mississippi, you're looking about $175 to $200 a square foot obviously depending on what all you put in it, uh, but something like this. So that'll give you a good idea, and depending on where you're building uh, pricing and stuff. Could be lower or higher, honestly. It really, it really depends on the area that you're building, but maybe that'll give you a good idea. I'm already starting to put together next week's tours, and <laughs> uh, let's just say some really unique stuff. Honestly, I feel like I say that every video, but really, guys, come back. The next video will be Tuesday, 6.45, and ladies, 6.45 Central Time, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday is when the videos come out. I hope y'all have a blessed weekend. If you're watching when the video comes out on Saturday night, well, I hope Sunday morning when you wake up, you're headed to the Lord's house. Hope you'll have a blessed one. I'll see you all Tuesday night. See you.